MAGA. Make America great. Again. Hmm? You know, they did good when they said make America great because we, we always want to make America a better place to live in for our children as we grow old. But to say again, I'm like, okay, that's to me like an insult because if you look at the history of America, there's not really a good time that was again. When you asked MAGA people when again is, they really don't know. They, they have various answers from uh, the forefathers to 40s and 50s to before the Civil War. Now, they never mention 60s or 70s. <laughs> and that's because everybody was fighting for their rights, uh, you know, women rights, gay rights, uh, civil rights. Uh, you know, there was a lot of things going on in the 60s and 70s that they don't want to go back to that era at all. You know, I'm like, you want to say again? Now, to me, this don't even make sense to say make America great again. You know, had all this wealth and then our country was bombed upon and destroyed. I could say, oh, okay, before the bombing, that's when it was great. But we haven't had those issue, issues. So I was like, really? I don't understand that. Because it doesn't make sense to me, my logic is that when they made Make America Great, they thought, wow, that's a good slogan. But how can we shorten it? That's mag, mag. That don't sound that good. And either somebody came up and said, okay, if you have an A at the end, that would be MAGA. And that sounds pretty good. And they were like, okay, that sounds good. Well, what's the A stand for? Oh, uh, again? You know, you're like, really? Again? So I think that's why it sounds so uh, ridiculous because they didn't even have a purpose for it because they, don't, they can't even explain again. Maybe when Trump was in office, that's again. And that Biden is just ruining this country. And, it, you know, it's funny because they talk about inflation. I have seen inflation going up, up, up since I first realized the cost of something. And I always use a candy bar, for example, because when I was a kid, a chocolate candy bar was a nickel. I went overseas because I was a military wife, and when I came back, that same candy bar was a quarter. And you're like, wow, it went up five times in maybe a year, three years, you know. It had been a nickel like forever, and then all of a sudden, it's a quarter. Now what do you pay for a chocolate candy bar? We seen some in the store the other day. They may be a little bigger, but not much. And they were a dollar twenty-five. That is people that to me are greedy because we've seen time and time again how companies, corporations will get stuff, they still get stuff cheaper. They still make it cheaper than what they sell it to us for. And then they increase it, say, well, it's inflation and it's BS. It's nothing but BS. They just do it to fill their pockets. And we've always accepted it, except when our candidate's not in office, then we blame the president. Oh, well, it's the president's fault. It's always been there. So I, I'm tired of people complaining about inflation. It's always been there. But people go out and they buy stuff and as soon as it hits the market, no matter what the cost is, they go, oh, I'm going to get that because I want to be the first one to have it. They stand in lines to get phones, to get games, to get a new, a different TV. You know, it's like, really, you know, these corporations know that. They know they can hike up a price and you guys will just go and buy it. Not everybody, but enough of you will buy it. And then the next year, that same product is like cut in half. So I don't want to hear another word about inflation and Biden making everything inflated talk about gas prices too oh well gas prices should be lower you know they were lower when trump was around so 
$1.25 when Trump was in office. You know, I live in Las Vegas, like I said. I have never seen gas here for $1.25 unless it was maybe 1970. Back in the day, it was a quarter for a gallon of gas. Here in Vegas, I've never seen it below $3. It's always $3 and up. Why? Because we live in a big city and they know there's a lot of people here and they're going to make a lot of money off of these people buying gas because we need it to get our cars around, <laughs> to get to work. I didn't see no gas prices at $1.25 when Trump was in office. I don't care what you say. It just depends on when you live. You live in a little hick town and there's only three cars in the whole town? Yeah, they might be $1.25 for gas. Reality is... Gas, that's your oil companies. You got oil companies making buku money off of us, and you guys don't care. You want to say, oh, well, that's the president's fault. <laughs> oh, you know, let's, break, let's blame the president instead of the corporation, the oil companies. You don't want to talk about oil, gas, oil. You're like, oh, no, you know, that's fine. That's your own fault. That's your own fault that gas is up and inflation's up because you guys just, Go right in there and buy the stuff up high, high, high. You like that. So don't don't complain and say, oh, it was better when Trump was in office. It wasn't any better when Trump was in office. And quit your lying about that. They feed you and you sit there and want to believe it. He has taken away more rights than any president. Taken them away. Now we fought for our rights. And he's just going, he just went, I'm taking this away. I'm taking this away. I'm taking that away. I just can't believe our society is so simple-minded like that. That they let a man and a party, a movement, they call it a movement, MAGA movement, to put these insane ideas in your head. And you lay there at night thinking, oh, yeah, that, oh, yeah. And I get tired of people saying, uh, you know, God is the foundation of our country. This country was built on the foundation of God. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. People came over to America. First, number one, there was a bunch of greedy people. When the Europeans came over here, they were all rich men wanting to get land, and, and they wanted to make more money. That's all that was. Those are the first ones that came over here. Now, who they bought the land from, I don't know. They came over, somebody came before. They had to push the native population off. And then they just started clearing the lands and said it was theirs and took it. The people that came over here were greedy. They were vicious. They were pretty mean, you know, because they were mean to other people. I don't know why people couldn't have just said, oh, you're living here? Well, you know. We want to live here, too. Can we live on your land? No. What they did, what America did, what Amer Europeans did, I should say, is that when Columbus, we know he didn't discover America, he gave the directions on how to get to America. Once he gave the directions, everybody was coming over here trying to get land, secure their place so they could make money. That's what they did. They just came over, took land, and brought shiploads of people over. Now, these... They're called the Great Migrations. There's there's like three of them, I think, in history back then. And one of them is, you know, after Jamestown. And there was, you know, six, seven ships coming at one time with people. Can you imagine? We were the uh, immigrants that came over and we just pushed everybody else out of the way. We said, we are better than you regardless of what you do or what kind of skills you have or what whatever. You dress different than us, so we think we're better than you. And that's what they did. And that was the attitude. When people came over here, it was only the white man or the man that had money that had any power. As far as the God thing goes, most people ran from Europe because of their religion. America wasn't founded because of God, on God. It was founded because people wanted to practice their own religion without being killed. That's the whole thing. People were being killed in Europe because they, they wanted to worship differently than the king wanted. 
or whoever was in charge of that country. If you didn't abide by the religion of that country, they'd hunt you down and kill you. Throwing them in jail because they had a different belief system than the king. You know, it, it wasn't because we said, oh, we want this religion here. You know, we're in America and this is the religion. We're going to have Christianity. No, that's not what happened. There were all kinds of religious people that came over here that just wanted a little corner of the world where they can practice their own religion and not be harmed because of it. We were built on Christianity, and that's not true. That is not true at all. Uh, this is a thought for you. If it was so, so many Christians here, then... They wouldn't have had slaves, number one, because they wouldn't have treated people that poorly. They wouldn't have treated women so poorly. And they wouldn't have treated children so poorly. And they wouldn't have treated non-whites so poorly or poor people poorly. They were very mean to these groups of people. You know, if you're religious, what, what justification do you have to be mean to other people because... What, your God says there's only white people or there's only a uh, men? You know, you got to be mean to the women. you got to, you know, abuse the children and put them in uh, workhouses. You know, MAGA wants to go back to that era, I think. So I, I just don't get that. MAGA again. Make America great again. I mean, 60s and 70s, I had hope. So, yeah, 70s was... A great year, I thought, was a fantastic year, 60s and 70s. We were moving in the right direction. We've got so much hate in this world. That's why I think the Confederate flag should be banned, because it doesn't do anything but represent slavery. When you have a Confederate flag, to me, you're saying, I want to be a slave owner. I want to be a slave owner. That's all that says. It doesn't say anything else to me but slaves. And that you think that is okay. I don't even want to talk to you or look at you or anything. I want you guys to go away with those Confederate flags. Because I'm like, we don't have slavery here. We don't approve of slavery. And so I don't approve of a co Confederate flag. And anybody that throws one in my face, I'll call them a slave owner. I say, oh, you want to be a slave owner? Is that what it is? You know, the South has got to wake up. I believe there's more good people in the world, and there are these evil MAGA people. And I call them evil MAGA because they are being vicious. They're talking about at school boards, oh, I got a gun, and I'm going to come over here Monday, and I'm going to shoot a bunch of you. Oh, and then they're called a terrorist, and oh, they're not terrorists, they're just parents. Bullshit, they're terrorists. Anytime you threaten somebody with violence to do something you want them to do, that's terror. That's called a terrorist. And if you live down the street, that's called a local terrorist. You didn't fly over from a foreign country. You were local and you're terrorizing. You're trying to terrorize the school board to tell them what they should teach the, the kids. Because you're prejudiced, you're racist, you're an idiot, you're violent, you're vicious, you're low life, you're a slave owner. People shouldn't complain if they get arrested. Like some are, oh, well, they got arrested? Oh, why? Why did Trump get arrested? Because <laughs> he did crimes. He did crimes, fraud. He did crimes against a woman. He's done crimes against our country. And you guys think that's acceptable. How dare you? You guys are just pieces of crap to me. If you, if you agree to Trump being your savior, as you call him, I don't know what to tell you. Then, other than that's a cult, and you need to start slapping yourself in the face and wake your ass up. Everybody should be woke on that stuff because he's an evil man. He's got you doing evil things. He's going to get you thrown in jail or killed because you want to go out there and kill somebody because he tells you to. You know, come on, wake up. And then they talk about free speech. Well, nobody's stopping them from going on TV and telling their lies. All the time. Trump still goes up there and tells his lies after he came out of court. Comes out of court and tells his lies. 
well, you know, they wouldn't let me have a jury, you know, because, because they're trying to stop me. And that was because his lawyer didn't check the box for jury, jury, you know, come on, quit letting them pull you by the nose like this. And you're like, okay, whatever you say, <laughs> whatever you say, <laughs> yeah, oh, well, let me bend down and kiss your ass, <laughs> you know, that is shameful. I, I say MAGA is shameful, shameful, shameful. And if your mommy and daddy was like that, and that's why you're like that, shame on your mommy and daddy. Because they should have known better. All these baby boomers, they should know better. We were born because of World War II, the end of a war. We had a conflict. We had the Korean War. We had a conflict in Vietnam. We've had wars. We've had riots because, you know, they treat people, uh, you know, crappy because of the skin color, which is an idiotic thing. It's sad. It's sad for our country. You know, I'm, I'm thinking of making an organization. They got so many organizations. I thought I'd make one. Grandma's Against MAGA BS. And I think a lot of grandmas were the baby boomers. Let's come out and knock these other baby boomers out of the way that want to follow Trump. And the first thing they're going to do is take away their Social Security. You can't have Medicare. Or no, you can't have no food, free food. You know, you're starving, but you can't have no free food. You go in the garbage cans to get it. I mean, come on. What is wrong with these people? What is wrong with them? MAGA is, I think it's... Sick, sick people. They are very sick acting. You can be a Republican and be upset with the way they're acting and say, hey, that's not my values. I want to I wanna change this, but, you know, we got ways to do it. I'm not saying all Republicans are like that, but I know what I see and what I hear about MAGA and what I read about them. I hear it right out of Trump's mouth. Don't tell me that it's fake news. But anyway, that's my, uh, it's going to be, Grandma's against bag of BS. I know this is kind of long and I have to edit it and everything, but I just wanted to let you know my thoughts and I'll talk to you later. Bye.